This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Waldemar well, back here with another episode of Resident Evil 3. In the last episode, we explored the close area next to the restaurant to see if we could find any places to go or what to do. Didn't find much except, uh, you know, a clock missing some gems, a fire, a fire, or well, not a firehouse, but like, you know, let's see what the map says again. Uh, newspaper office I couldn't quite get into. I'm gonna double check that out. Maybe I'm missing something there. Uh, went to the restaurant, opened up a manhole to get down. The, uh, uh, what was it? Bubblegum Joe. Was it? Bazooka Joe. Bazooka Joe came in, attacked us. We met a new guy named Carlos who works, apparently works for the, like, a mercenary crew that's been hired by Umbrella. So we don't know if he's a good guy or bad guy in the past. Umbrella's been kind of a, a nasty character to deal with, so. But anyway, we've got to, we double check back here and see if we can uh, enter any places now that uh, the place isn't, um, like, uh, coming apart or whatever because it's a freezer. Hmm. Looks like I can't really do much here. Huh. At least not at the moment, anyway, because, yeah, that guy pops up. I can't get, I can't get up to that one spot anymore because of the, uh, because I don't have Carlos or anyone here to help me, so. I guess there's no reason to go down here anymore. What's the point? Of maybe there's an item I can, or maybe there's like, maybe we can open up the freezer at some point, or maybe, or maybe we can't because the place got, got damaged because of the uh, explosion that Bazooka Joe caused. So, all right, better be prepared. Bazooka Go can appear at any place. Oh God! Fuck you, man. Fuck you and your cheese. Oh, or, or, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Guys, it's because he's so fast and then he just smacks you for some cheap damage, you know. Ugh. And then he gives you like a few seconds to pop out. I thought I heard zombies. He's probably going to pop out of that door. Usually if the music changes, he's after you. Well, it's not immediately popping up, so. There must be certain areas they can't really go into or something like that. Let's see if he pops up here. Oh, I heard him. I don't know if that means he's in here or not, but yeah, we'll just have to avoid him, I guess. Great. All right, we need. I'm gonna go try back that before we go back to uh, use that crank. I want to go back to that newspaper place. Ugh, Bazooka Joe, your gum is your gum was hard and broke and broke one of my teeth when I was a kid. Actually, that's not the case, but I've my teeth have been broken. Oh God! Well, you're just walking now. You're just like do 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 do. Going after Jill of Stars. She's wearing a sexy mini skirt. Got to chase after that hot ass. Jeez. Freaking psychopath. All right. I wonder if he can enter in here. I guess we'll find out. All right. I'm going to see if I can actually walk in here. I never actually tried. Oh, God. There he is. Can he go through the fire? I bet he can. I can hear him. You heard him growl. Hmm. Oh well. Whoa! Nuts. Can we actually go in there or is the place just on fire? Yep. I'm, I wonder if I walk into the fire if I take damage, probably. I'm not gonna risk it, so. Whoa! Hmm. <laughs> what are the means we can go in? Oh, nope. It looks like there's. Well, I'll, I'll check it out here in a second. I don't wanna. Hmm. There you go. I don't know why I'm walking for some weird reason. I was try I guess I was just trying to be in the moment or whatever, so. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay. What's the map say? Another place to check, and then we can go out the other way. I wonder if that means this place is gonna like burn down or something like that. I wonder if I should uh equip a gun more than a don't worry, I don't need courage. I've got a gun. I wonder if there's like a fire, like, um, not fire release, uh, a, um, like, uh, maybe we can manually activate the, uh, the, the narrow path can be seen from the window. Hmm. I wonder if they're, like, maybe, like, maybe the fire, uh, release or whatever it is where water comes out. God, why does my brain sometimes just, like, shut off? Uh oh. I heard zombie noises. Must be one around here somewhere. Probably a fire zombie. When it, when it 
talks to you or when it moans it breathes fire on you. That'd be kind of neat. Reporter's memo. At, what? At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal tearing away a new flesh. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people have also suffered from this disease now. However, the causes of the disease are not yet known. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I want to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to the, its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. <laughs> creation and cure. Eh. The military has set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the diseases. Or disease. Most of the citizens either died or come in contact with the disease. I know that isn't the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journal. Is it journalist? Journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. At least it's not like Walking Dead, where you're just everyone's affected somehow. For whatever reason or how. I don't think they ever explained that. But I haven't watched the show, so I've only played the games, and frankly, with how long that series has been on, I'm kind of not interested in watching it. I mean, it's one of those shows that looks like it's kind of milking it, really, at this point. Anyway, photo scene. Sorry, if you like Walking Dead, whatever. The police have been destroyed. Oh, well. I guess the police kind of suck. Falls on bizarre incidents are scattered around. But yeah, I heard a zombie noise somewhere around here. Oh! That! Ah, oh, damn it! I was gonna. T I forgot to quick turn or whatever it was. Oh man! Back to this condition again. Is is it Jill's ever evervescent thing to always be in critical condition? Probably. Um. Probably should just blast him. I could probably knife him if I really want to try, but. I've already wasted. Ugh, nuts. I've already wasted too much ammo and healing in this game. Well, maybe not so much ammo, but I've wasted a lot of healing in this game. Maybe the game will. Maybe being on hard mode, maybe the game will make it up to me and give me extra healing at certain points just to make me feel better. Oh, the final gem. Now we can get into the uh, um, city hall. So, all right. Let's see. Yeah, city hall has its own section with the gas station and all this other stuff. Man, that opens up a whole new area if we go if we go uh, there now that we've got the gym. However, there's still the substation, which might be the way out of this place, I bet. But then there's also the uh, back that way where the uh, crank is, so. I bet that's maybe that's where we get the thing for that. Oh, we still have to find a fire. We still have to find a wrench to unlock the uh unlock the fire hose so we can put out the fire and then ugh, there's so many so many different things that we need to do so luckily this game doesn't really get complicated enough or or forgetful enough to worry about that or i i never really have issues with forgetting that type of thing just, the stuff i usually forget is like the um is there huh now yeah, i thought i saw something I think that's... Okay, so I guess there is no fire, like, not fire extinguisher, but there's no, like... Then how do we leave? Because according to this, there's supposed to be, like, an exit to get out of here. I wonder if story-wise there's a... Oh, shit. Damn it! Fuck you! God damn it! Big Bazooka Joe! Taking extra pot shots at me. I thought you were immune to the... Or, I thought you couldn't come in here because of the fire. Ugh. He just comes in and gives cheap shots, you know? It doesn't... Can you actually enter? Oh, okay, we can actually enter here. That's... Yeah, this game's all about the cheap damage, apparently. But yeah, I wonder how you get to the other side there. Hmm. Must be something I'm missing. Because it said there was a pathway there, but then uh, I couldn't actually go over there. Well, alright. I guess now that we oh god damn it, Bazooka Joe, your gum sucks. Okay, let's put the gem in really quick. 
quickly now, quickly, quickly before we're murdered. If that actually opens it. Hey, all right. We're going to City Hall. Ah! <laughs> well, I gotta I got admit, the, the introduction of Bazooka Joe keeps the uh, tension high. Now it's just all a matter of trying to figure out what causes him to appear, or like what areas does he always appear in, and what areas is he uh, uh, um, like not available to go into. We know for sure that uh, the door is stuck and won't, from the other side and won't open. We know he's uh, he can't go into save areas, for sure, but I think any monster can't go into save areas, so that's not really much of a comfort. Although I didn't hear I didn't hear a noise from him after he we got in here, so he's probably immune to this. Well, actually, maybe not immune, but maybe he won't immediately go in here for for now. I might have to go back to the safe spot and um, let's see. I can go multiple different ways. It looks like. Uh. Since we don't have any way to unlock anything right now. I bet he just doesn't go in here immediately. I bet if at some point I probably he probably pops up given some time, you know. Now I, I think if I remember correctly, if you actually kill him, he kinda he disappears for a while. Like he actually doesn't whoops, didn't mean he's probably gonna pop I didn't mean to go back in there, he's probably gotta be on the other side and gotta punch me or something like that, right? No. Well, you never know. But anyway, like I think if I remember correctly, he uh, yeah he like basically buggers off for a while, if if you kill or knock him out or whatever it is, kind of like uh, the big big coat killer in a uh, in um the uh, in Survivor, like you can knock him out or run away. Obviously in that game, if you want to get the best score, it's probably better to run away from him or a tyrant, tyrant with a coat, whatever you want to call him. I mean, basically, his time with the coat. He's got, he's got the, he's got the pedophile jacket. Okay, we got a couple of red herbs here. Keep that in mind. Do I want to go ahead? And... Oh, hello. There's an. Oh, we have to go back for that. The shutter is down. The shutter is down. I repeat, the shutter is down. Is that a hex shape? Mm -hmm. So we have to go back to the safe thing anyway. To if we want to unlock the, uh, we want to unlock the gas station. So all right. Well, might as well get those while we're here. Oh boy, I have to go back through Tyrant again. Or, God. Sorry, I keep calling him Tyrant when that's not. I mean, yeah, he's based. Okay, I mean, I'm kind of spoiling things if I say he's based off of him. Which, I mean, we're not idiots. If you played the other games, you can tell that there's some type of connection to him. But, but uh, at least from the look and how he acts and stuff like that. But okay, you're gonna pop up again, dude. Not yet. Cool, you'll actually give me a few seconds to, uh... I'm just trying to figure out how do you get... Block that, unblock that part of the door. Hmm. I don't know. Probably some story reason will we'll come up come upon us and we'll, we'll figure it out. Or it might be a choice. I know some of the choices in the game kind of affect... Like, in the... So, like, if you chose, like, to fight him in the first one, you obviously have to knock him out and, uh... Do we have... Can I get him without having to waste bullets? Well, we'll find out here in a second. Sometimes if you knife him, you can kind of slow down his, uh, his, uh... Okay, we know that there's more zombies. I can hear him, so... Might want to equip, because I don't know what's actually in here. Might as well equip my, equip my gun. Gotta get my gun! There's nothing of interest here. Thanks for that game. Man, too bad we don't have farmer with a... Oh, too bad we don't have farmer with a shotgun. Strongest guy ever, I swear. Yeah, I better take him out. Okay, he died. Man, that zombie's really going to town on that thing. It must be the greatest meat ever. Let's find out if... Okay. Hey, dude. Dinner's over. Well, I mean, unless you kill me, then, uh, then dinner's on. Oh, come on. Die. Could have probably could have knifed him for a few extra. Oh, is that guy still alive? Nope. Because I can actually walk I can actually walk through him. If you can't walk through the dude, then he's considered a physical target for for uh um for killing or being eaten or whatever you want to call it. I hate it when sometimes zombies have oops. 
Let's not get too close. He, I don't think he died. Uh, I hate when zombies sometimes get a bit more, bit more life, or maybe. Oh, did he? Yep. Ha ha! Didn't want to waste the bullets on you. I had to save a couple of bullets anyway. And usually a bad sign of if if an area had monsters. By the way, I, I think if I remember correctly, Bazooka Joe. Act oh, we can actually move through him. Why did he get up? Huh. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. Usually he would just bit me at this point, but and I'd be like, ah, damn it. There we go. Save me a few extra a few extra rounds. Okay, you're all dead. Oh, and yeah, and uh, if even, if an area had monsters before, you skipped them, and you, they disappear next time you show up, uh, odds are Bazooka Joe popped up. And uh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Because then you have to mess with him. Although, I guess it depends on the situation. Sometimes if it's just Bazooka Joe, you might get lucky and be able to... Because I'm really bad at the action dodge. You know, the thing where, you know, you can t not get damaged or whatever. Um, it is... It's possible to do that against him and not get damaged. But the thing is, I kind of suck at activating it. I, if I do it, it's like by complete accident, you know. Mm. Didn't look like the Lonsdale Yard, huh? Or, Lon yeah, Lonsdale. Hmm. Sounds like an actual name for something. Like, maybe taken away from a specific place or actual place or whatever. I'm just checking the... Ooh, we can combine those herbs. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. This must be the game taking pity on me for all the damage I've been taking or whatever. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I know that some items get moved in this game depending on certain factors. Um... You know, I've never actually looked up the algorithms of this game, so I don't know, like, how that figures out. And I wonder if the GameCube version of this game has the same features or not. You know, I'll admit, I haven't actually played the GameCube version. I think it's just basically just tidied up a bit for the GameCube release. You know, obviously smoother. Uh-oh. All right, well, I'm going to go and use that barrel, if you don't mind. Boom! I probably didn't kill them all, but I killed a lot of them, and that's all that matters. Ooh, what's he got? No oh, shotgun shells. I'll take those. You never know. I might. I've got. I've been saving. I'm saving those up for a rainy day. A strong barricade is blocking the way. Great. I wonder if I actually got all the zombies from that. Okay. Maybe. We'll find out. Oh, I got lucky and I killed them off. Nice. Better than the last time I tried to do a barrel. Ugh. Basically, I had to fight them all off and waste ammo on that. Ugh. Man, I, I can't believe that happened to me. I was like, and I've played that part before, long, long, you know, long days ago with a young Voldemort yeah, with his PlayStation 1, and he had the old original one, so he had to tip it on its side to keep it from playing because the, uh, like, it was either the motor or the, or the CD reader was, was running out on. I didn't have the money to buy the PS1 because the P, there's the, P okay, there's the PlayStation 1, then there's the PS1, and then there's other variations, but... Um, uh, whoa! Getting a little too fast there, buddy. Yes, I know Jill's hot, but you can't just... You can't just run at her, you know, you gotta... Gotta ask her for permission before you can, uh... Ooh, good. Save me some... Save me some ammo. Okay, there's another one. Oh, I got a few. Now, would I be able to get lucky and... You know, uh, uh, one of the more interesting inclusions in this game is the uh, introduction to female zombies. No, I mean, it doesn't change anything about the... Uh-oh, she's, uh, she's not slowing down. Usually they slow down when you hit them. She's not doing that. That's a... Uh, hmm. Okay, that was slowing her, slowing her down for a second. Luckily, they're just slow enough. Like in some instances, they're still he's still moving despite him. Okay, is that it? Okay, good. Like I said, save some ammo if I can. So, or at least I believe it's it's the best thing to do. I believe it's the perfect thing to do. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. No, I am definitely not a. Uh, it's locked from the other side. I am definitely not a Resident Evil like uh, speedrunner character. So, yeah. Every, Oh man! Oh, is that a good or bad sign that there's another barrel around here? 
I wonder if that was one way to kill all the uh, crawling ones, was just to have them go over there. It's not working anymore. It must be the clock. We didn't save the clock tower. Oh, I have a bad feeling. I think I know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to say anything because you never know. So, All right, let's check out this trolley. What's inside? Do I need to equip my gun? Don't hear any zombies, so... Okay, what's this? Oh, is that ammo? I might leave it. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a memo. Mechanics memo. I don't know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin, so let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these characters were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simply s simple, stubborn, strong. We can always depend on them. If they have a bad day and you are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid these nasty little malfunctions if you check the pipes every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you don't have to choose. You have to choose a, a suitable pot. When I say suitable, I mean that even you can't find another original pot. You better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for those trains. These trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man never be may betray others, but a machine won't. Well, until they become sentient and we treat them like trash, and then, you know. Some of the parts seem to be out of order. Oh, we don't need that. The power cable is disconnected. The fuse is broken. So we need three things for this thing. Power cord, fuse, and the mixed oil. So this probably might be our next objective to actually leave this place. So You're one of the survivors the? from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How good a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? You mean the RPD Special Force Team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? Hmm. Who's it? It looks like Car we met Carlos's friends. Don't seem to be too hospitable, especially the Russian sounding guy. Well, I mean, we're not part of his team, so he's probably one of those types of leaders. Can we get to know these people? Who's that wounded man over there? Is Bazooka Joe going to make another appearance? Find out next time in the next episode of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.